Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Ice with me, Alpha Pi Omega, and Kingdom of Italy. So in the last episode we advanced to 28th of March 1947 and it's actually starting to look pretty nice. Uh, our construction is slightly taking off. We're finishing our first, I think it's the first one, first motor factory and we are in the same moment working on another in civilian industrial factory or civilian factory i don't know why i went with that extra adjective there but that is nice i've done a couple more changes to the navies uh pretty much putting all the stronger ships into our battle fleet and putting the weaker ships to the scout fleets so they will be reinforced so if you see ships moving around, don't be alarmed, it's just a drill. So I think with that said, we can uh, resume playing. We are going to get two more civilian factories very soon. Uh, we are researching some decent technologies that are going to change the game for us, especially the uh, improved machine tools, which are going to allow us to go ahead and get the industrial triangle i believe it's called yes which will grant us four extra civilian factories and then we're gonna get four extra military factories plus four extra military factories in exchange for two civilian factories by going with the industrial conversion so things are looking good so let's unpause it oh wow just this move cost us 500 units of fuel. Wow, we really need more fuel. We really need more fuel, but I'm not willing to invest into that. So we finished uh, the Caproni 145 medium bomber. So let's go with the heavy, uh, heavy. Uh, is it heavy? Yeah, heavy calls our support. Naval strike and port strike. Naval strike will be pretty good. I guess we can do any more for yeah we can do any more fighters all of these are ahead of time so we're gonna go with Ghibli pretty damn nice looking airplane if you ask me what about the medium bomber Italian medium bomber it suffered from reliability issues oh yeah it can upgrade its reliability what about you your reliability is not much better really it's actually worse <laughs> great ah uh, and we have outdated equipment. Oh wow, we're actually not not building the bomber, are we? What are you, white bomber? Okay, this is a medium bomber. So we would need to start producing medium bombers, which the game actually wants us to do, but yeah. The civilian war continues, and you can see that uh, the fascists are winning, which should be a source of joy for us. Okay, R.I. R. IRI. In 1947, the government made R IRI, that's hard to pronounce, a permanent institute for the development of Italian industries. So, two extra civilian factories. And yeah, it's gonna take a couple of, a couple of weeks, 51 days, so almost two months to get the improved machine tools. So, in the meantime, I think we're gonna prepare for these two so you need Sinesta and you need just the industrial triangle and the pursue oil autarky so let's see Sinesta needs heroic tales 21 days actually that's that's pretty cool that's gonna be exactly the time that we need so heroic tales then extra factory and political power and then we can get the industrial triangle increase arms production pursue oil autarky and University of Trieste. Good. Good. It's actually going pretty well. So heroic tales. Off you go. Oh, we got only one factor out of that. Damn it. Well, the consumer goods cost what they cost. Wow. Right now we're getting only 14 fuel per day. Talk about close budget. You have to be careful about that. When have the ships went where they were supposed to? Yup, we got the heavy ships here. Oh, and we got two puny destroyers here. Ah, he was supposed to be here. Okay, guys, I got you covered. 
So we're gonna move to this fleet. Nice. And what is this? Outdated equipment. Missing equipment. And what about you? Okay, there's more of you, more destroyers here, and more destroyers here, so it might be a good good idea to start sending you out. You are yes. Subdetection. And you have some depth charges, so I'll split you out accordingly. So we're gonna join here. Yeah, it's a great idea to burn more fuel when we need all the fuel that we can get. I'm gonna stop these experiments until we really get into a better situation. Oh wow, we're actually bleeding out fuel now. Because getting more ships is increasing our oil demand. Air is not consuming anything. Arm is and navy is. So heroic tales. The Italian children are called Balilla in honor of the young martyr killed during the wars for the unification of Italy. Okay, so we get Balilla, which grants reputable population of point two. So Sineshita. Extra building and extra civilian factory. So it's 45 days. Foreign volunteers. We can use anyone we can. Okay. We're missing garrison maintenance, but hey, 85% on the field strength now. Yeah, we're starting to see some things that are not entirely red, which is amazing. Yeah, like camera horse equipment is starting to look nice. We're even making some of that heavy artillery shine. How's the... Yeah, we got enough machine guns, anti-air and mortars. I could just cancel these free and add, uh, add them to something that we actually do need. Okay, now let's do that. So... I know I'm sacrificing a bit of efficiency here, but we really need them elsewhere right now. So what's the worst thing? You're gonna take... Okay, you, we don't even need to. So that's 820 days on the mountain warfare. Can we... Okay, so mechanized as well. Transport trucks. Okay, so I guess support equipment, mechanized, and mountain warfare is winning. Okay, so what was that? So mechanized, mountain warfare, and support equipment. Okay. Oh, and we finished the deck bombing. That is actually a pretty decent. Yeah, our support mission efficiency plus twenty percent. And we can shorten this one. Oh, but it's ahead of time. Oh, but I have nothing else to research. Well, ground support. I don't think there's anything else here that I would actually like. We could just start with the fighter, but. And yeah, just. Okay, research dive bombing. Uh, see if I care. Just waste all of your time. But this I really care about. God damn it. Okay, how are we doing? More destroyers, more destroyers, more destroyers. Just put all the destroyers together. I guess we're gonna make escort fleets out of you. Wait, I have a free military factory? Oh yeah, we finished the one, okay. Oh, I hope I haven't wasted too much time on that. Uh, 2.75... Not the garrison. Oh, 
Oh, that's actually awful as well. Okay. So let's put you on garrison. Garrison duty. Who doesn't like garrison duty? And I think we have to actually check these. Uh, so that they don't cut our... So we don't need the... Actually, we're going to abandon the naval treaty when we can. Military parade in Rome. What would that give us? Political power. Is this free cell in factories? Not interested. Naval war games. Nothing here. Give token force. Increase the pay rates of our soldiers. Nope. Uh, nothing here. I think. Regional air defenses might be good. But what would they give? Nothing. Okay, so that's completely useless. Maybe you. Okay, these ones I want to see. Okay, the Republicans. Guns for Spain. Yeah, we can't really do anything out of from this. Eh, I like these. Let's see if the trains can run on time and nothing like this. I don't even know what these... And one off map... Wait can get off map Chinese minerals joint research project thing happens so we actually get something wait so this this just gives me something most Profitable venture. Oh, okay. Does that cost something? I don't think so. 10% chance of nothing happening. Well, we do have the power. And we have all the ministers selected. So I'd like to probably get the theorists up. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the theorists up and then we can... Well, the... Exploit Republic of China. Maybe we can try it. And chances really low though. But you know, it can happen, so let's see. Let's start by Republic of China. Oh, okay, so we were lucky and we uh, gained one off map factory, if I see correctly. <laughs> Interesting. Well, speak about luck. Wait, can we do it again? With the other ones? No, it's just saying that, it doesn't actually do that. Oh no, we actually got an off map factory. Is that a bug? Okay, you can have one or two. <laughs> Interesting. There was supposed to be only a 3% chance for that happening. Two hundred forty-five days. <laughs> okay, infantry tank artillery. Oh, and the improved machine tools. Okay, so we got the machine tools done which is amazing because that allows us to gain extra eight percent in production efficiency and we're already working on this first industry so i'm gonna go with military production which increases factory output by five percent this one would be also cool but i think this one is faster yeah so that's gonna simply increase the production and you you can do infantry stuff or you know two ahead of time. The garrison one is really good. But I think we're still gonna look into the doctrines. Because these things are pretty damn good. Okay, so we get you and then anti-tank defenses. 
Army heart attack plus 5, heart attack plus 5. And what is this one? Infantry recovery. Wow, all infantry, motorized and mechanical units plus 5% defense. Division attrition is lowered and maximum entrenchment increased. Fortress defenses, okay. I'm willing to spend experience on that and it's pretty good. Okay, the Paris Universal Exhibition, what is that? France is proud to launch with great fanfare the Universal Exhibition of 1947. In Paris, over 101 hectares, 44 countries showcase their pavilions around the themes of arts and techniques applied to modern life. Nearly Nearly 32 million visitors will rush to come. At the time, Paris will retain the Charlotte Palace, the Palace of Discovery, and the Palais de Tokyo. The spirit of new modern art triumphs everywhere. The world wants to believe for a moment that the exhibition will finally bring together everything that unites men. But circumstances have placed the monumental Soviet and German pavilions across from each other. This will lead to them challenging each other, one with a 25-meter statue of the worker, and the Cocos woman brandishing a sickle and a hammer, the other a monumental sculpture of an eagle holding a swastika in its talons. Okay. Egypt joins the League of Nations. After signing the Anglo-Egyptian Alliance Treaty of the, on the 26th of August 1946 and its ratification on the 22nd of December the same year, Egypt made true on one of the main incentives given to Egypt signing such a pact, being recognized as an independent state and thus being eligible to join the League of Nations as a full member. Cool, so we get some extra bonuses out of that. And what is... things that we can do? We can't abandon the treaty yet. And we get the Sineshita! In 1947, Sineshita was founded by Mussolini under the slogan Cinema is the most powerful weapon. In the first year, 18 films were produced. Among those, also El Signor Max by Signor Camerini, the first film with Vittorio De Sica. Okay, change in popularity of fascism increased by 5%, political power plus 25%, and no, not 25%, but 25%. And one extra building slot and civilian factories. And we can go with the industrial triangle. Awesome. So that's gonna be a big thing. So the trains run on time are starting to run out of time. Hmm. We're hoping that's not gonna be an issue. Okay. Two decisions. Yeah, timeout. Missing equipment, production, industrial triangle, and research going. Well, good things. 86%. White vehicles are being done. Support equipment is actually starting to work. State of Sinkiang declared war on Sinkiang. Really? Where is Sinkiang? Should be here somewhere. Sim Kiang. Oh, here. That's kind of funny. Sim Kiang and state of Sim Kiang. So this is a communist state against authoritarian state. <laughs> okay. Seems a bit similar, but fine. Okay, theorists. Anyone can give me. Naval experience gain. Okay, I would take that. Her chief. Well, is there anything that would lower supply consumption? Submarine detection, command power multiplier. Nope, 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 nothing. Okay, so what about you? Fuel gain per oil. Okay, this one is pretty good. Oh, we need oil and sand. Weaker like manpower, industrial. All buildings, construction speed, 2%. Hmm. 
armor equipment designer infantry equipment the lowered cost motorized equipment field uniforms and artillery now I think we're gonna go with the theorists for now okay nothing really prohibits us from getting more naval experience because the doctrines and everything can be very useful in that regard so we're gonna focus on those okay. eh. Bleeding out fuel slowly, but hey look at that 21 civilian factories working overtime To multiply the production and the industrial triangle is gonna throw four more into the fray Okay small treaty one of the most notable tasks is to make our country look good abroad. Bilateral friendship treaties are a popular diplomatic means of achieving this. This requires resources, especially in these times. The good news is that one such accord is ready for signing. Okay, extra. Extra, extra. Read all about it. So 87% field strength. That is nice. Okay, I think the train's run on time is going to fall out of the sky. Yeah, seven days. <laughs> that is going to be a massive hit. And not, a, no, no, not because we we deserve it, but because we have the Ethiopian legacy alive. Oh, we, we were almost there. Okay, three days, two days, Ah, oh, that's gonna be painful to watch, one day, and it's gone, Ah, oh, six factories gone, well on the other hand we're gonna get them down the line, that is the good news, I don't know how long that other Malice is on. Volunteer supporting. Cheat on the treaties. I don't see it here, quite honestly. It might be here somewhere. Train train search Balia. What? Quarter 90. Italian. Wow! <laughs> Italian leadership. Drain the swamp, town want this. Yeah, I don't see it here, but it's gonna go away eventually. Because it has to. Okay, efficiency increasing across the board. That's one of the good things on this. Motorcycle recon equipment is also doing pretty well. Mountain artillery is doing well. Amelia Earhart disappears. The famous aviator Amelia Earhart, the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared. Along with her navigator, Fred Noonan, near Howland Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The two were attempting a flight around the entire world in their twin engine Lockheed Electroplane when they vanished. A search for the missing aviators is now being conducted by the US Navy and the Coast Guard, but there is little hope of finding them. Second General Conference of the National Committees on Intellectual Cooperation When in August 1922 the International Committee Intellectual Cooperation held its first meeting in Geneva, it found itself in something of a quandary. The Council of the League of Nations have asked the committee three questions. How was scientific documentation to be internationally organized? How was international cooperation in scientific research to be promoted? And lastly, how was such cooperation to be assured between universities? At the, its very first meeting, under the chairmanship of Henry Bergson, two practical suggestions were put forward. The first was that a general inquiry should be undertaken into the conditions of intellectual life since the war. The second was that assistance should be given to nations whose intellectual life was in danger. Headed currently by Henry Bennett, it has met for the second time. It is hoped that many advances will be made by working together. Okay, 2% bonus. I, I can, you know, get... It's a free bonus. Why would I not support that? That anti-tank gun is looking so weird. 
but never stop bothering me. Okay, we're down to 2,000 units of fuel. I really can't do much, much more there. Is there any policy that we might change that would... Normal financial operations. Okay, more time domestic loans. Limited mobilization. Division attack, division defense. General mobilization, two year, oh, it's a three year draft. Brackets. Yeah, it's not something women allowed. Political power gain. Oh, that will lower actually consumer goods factories. Okay, it will lower the stability though. This is giving us a bit of a positive boost. Recruitable population and extra political power gain, but you know the two percent is actually kind of a lot So we might want to switch this Okay, diplomatic efforts low manpower so we can look into this uh, No recruitment for volunteers low standards medium standards army training time Division organization. Okay, what would this change? Division experience gain. Okay. Armored training time. Okay, medium standards. That might be worth just for basic officer training, would also probably be pretty good. Extensive officer training added. Okay, so basic officer training we might want to switch. Um, high investment and yeah, it increases consumer goods. Uh, we might think of switching some people here too if it comes down to it because we will get new people as things go down. Damage triggers, base stability, compliance, growth. Yeah, well, who knows. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge located just southwest of Beijing. The Re Republic of China has rejected the Empire of Great Japan's demands for an apology and territorial concessions, claiming instead that the breaking point of Japanese aggression has been reached. Diplomats feared that the volatile situation could result in a war at any time. Oh, look at that. They... Oh, wow, Madrid is still being under attack. That is interesting. I thought they wouldn't have it by now. Okay, the Industrial Triangle is coming to fruition, finally. Okay, we just finished that. Nice, that extra factory fell in. How's the consumer goods? 47. Yeah. The last furious would we take? I think army experience mobile. War. Wait, which doctrine are we going to get? Is also a very good question. And I have to select the right. Right. So, mass assault doctrine, assault. Okay, embargo, Sichuan click. I shall do it. Rowing barrage and stormtrooper assaults. Yeah, those are World War One, right? Where's the rowing barrage? Okay, here. That was one more. And then we need to decide which one we want. Mobile warfare. Superior firepower, methodical battle doctrine, or mass assault doctrine. I'm gonna have to look into this in a bit more detail. Actually, we can look into that right now together, can't we? I mean, this is an important decision, so 
These ones are for organization, on speed and maneuver to cut off and disorganize enemy forces. Throwing shells, not men and our enemy. So that would be defense, breakthrough, organization, soft attack. Okay, I like the superior firepower. Methodical battle doctrine. It's mostly planning. Mass assault. Perfect weapons are overrated. A large number of good enough weapons is a path to victory. Ah, uh, division attrition. Yeah, I'm, so far I like the superior firepower the most. That actually gives quite a lot of soft attack bonuses and reconnaissance, recovery rate. The mobile warfare would sit well with me as well because it helps the tanks. And I like those. Or assault operations. Our armies will continuously be on the offensive, never allow the enemy. Planning speed, max planning breakthrough, soft attack, planning speed. Oh, supply consumption minus 10%. That's actually a pretty good one. Hmm. And the guys that we can get do what? Uh, let's unpause it. Oh, we can actually get... Wait, what was I clicking on before? What can I just do you and you? Wait, is that what, what was I clicking on before? That's so weird. That, that was a different, different guy. Okay, so we're gonna get operations and doctrine. Eh, hey, let's go with and doctrine research speed plus seven percent. That's actually pretty good. Okay, outdated equipment. We no longer get the effects from Chinese minerals. Okay, so that's what we had before. Can we exploit another poor company for a company, country for our sakes? So let's exploit you and you. I have no idea what we're gonna get, but I wonder where we can see the effects. It's just claims same thing. Find the time. Get one building. Point there. Not a fan. How's the 88%? Okay, we're starting to get slightly better. Okay, let's finish the industrial triangle. I'm gonna end the episode there. Because that's going to be awesome. It's something we have been waiting for for so long. And what is that? Captain of Industry. Rubber refinery. Ah, uh, it doesn't really help with anything major. Just infrastructure and resource scanning. Oh hey! We're finishing the L338. The Tenket. Insufficient resource resistance to occupation. And we finished what we wanted this whole time. Okay, so 4% and here it's 10. So I guess this is fine. We should be okay here. No problems as far as I can see. Okay, so we get the four extra civilian factories. And yes, this is awesome. We're back to 18 in production. And if we can lower that insane amount going to consumer goods, we'll get even more. So with that said, we can now go with increased arms production, which will give us four building slots and four military factories and another research slot, after which we can go to pursue oil autarky and University of Trieste, and then the industrial conversion. Actually, I might go... This takes 45 days. Okay, let's go with this one and then the industrial conversion. That's gonna take away two factories, I know, but you know, that's a net gain. And then we can we can deal with this. Okay, so I guess that's all for this episode. I 
would like to thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode. Actually, let's start with this one already so that I don't forget. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time with more Hearts of Iron 4 Black Ice Italy.